Hi and welcome along to AFTV. Looking forward to the game on Monday night. Arsenal versus Leicester City. Big, big game for Arsenal. Of course, we've been doing brilliantly so far this season. Nine wins on the bounce. And you know what? The international break came at the wrong time for Arsenal because uh, we were just absolutely flying. We had that devastating win over um, Fulham, beating them 5-1 away from home and really, really confident. And then comes along the international break and uh, kills the vibes a bit, doesn't it, for two weeks. Although I still think this Arsenal team are motivated, they're confident and the game is at home in front of our own fans and we're going to be really, really pumped up for the game. Now, Leicester City, of course, are going to be no mugs. Uh, they've had a great start to the season. Their best start to the season, I was reading, since they won the league. Um, so they've been playing pretty well, Leicester, and they've got some very, very good players. Of course, Jamie Vardy, who always seems to score against Arsenal. Uh, he has got a fantastic record against Arsenal, as a matter of fact. Um scoring on a regular basis when he plays us. I think he scored six goals in six Premier League games, um, or six Premier League starts, should I say, against Arsenal, including a brace um, in the 27-18 season. So we know that Jamie Vardy is going to be a big threat. But he's not the only threat. They've got a lot of good players now, Leicester. They invested well in the summer. They managed to hold on to Harry Maguire, who, again, is another brilliant player. I remember a lot of... Um, you know, clubs were after the big centre-half. Uh, Manchester United were trying to get him. He, he did brilliantly in the World Cup for England. And he's carried that form on. And from set pieces in particular, he's very dangerous. He's very strong and very good at bringing the ball out from the back. And Harry Maguire is definitely going to have to be a player that's going to have to be watched. Um, did you know that Arsenal actually tried to, you know, well... They didn't try to buy him, but we scouted him. We scouted Harry Maguire. We were interested in him. Um, I think it was Martin Keown, I read, that, that scouted him, reported back to Arsenal that, you know, he thinks he's a decent player. But we rejected him because we thought he was too big and too slow. Got that one wrong, didn't we? Because <laughs> he's a very, very good player. Um, also, James Madison, who they bought in recently this season, another very good player. Um, very good at um, set pieces, very creative player, and um, he will be dangerous. Ian Nacho up front, who they can go with. You know, Damari Gray, who I think is going to be injured. I know he's been um, struggling with a bit of an ankle injury, but he's another very good player. Um, and of course, uh, of course, in goal, Kasper Schmeichel, who's a top goalkeeper and will be very difficult to beat. They will be missing Wes Morgan. Wes Morgan um, suspended. Uh, he got a red card in his last game. Suspended for the second time. Two red cards this season now for Wes Morgan. Um, but he is a bit of a leader for them, and he will be missed. Although there's a couple of Leicester fans saying to me that they're kind of glad he's out because he can have a mistake in him, and he is a bit slow. But definitely that's going to weaken their defence because he is their captain. He is their organiser. So... Um, you know, it's going to weaken them a bit. Arsenal, on the other hand, we know we're flying at the moment. Now, Alexander Lacazette is on absolute fire this season. He's been leading the line brilliantly for Arsenal. And, you know, he's fit, he's rearing to go, and he'll definitely be starting in this game. And, of course, we've got a great, great record against Leicester. I think um, at home, should I say, because away from home is not as great. We lost there last season. But at home... Excellent record um, against Leicester. And so Lacazette will be pumped up for the game. Aubameyang, who's been scoring goals for fun. Remember, both of them in the last game, both got two goals each. They'll be chomping at the bit as well. Um, Mesut Ozil's fit. He shrugged off um, the back spasm, so he's fit to play now. We had a debate on this um, in the brand new show that we do called um, The Supporters Club with Turkish. Brilliant show. Well done to Turkish for that. Um... We had a real debate on that. Should Mesut Ozil come back into the team or should we stick with more or less the same team of what we played against Fulham, which was so good? Uh, I think that we sort of all came to the conclusion that we should go with Ozil in this game because at home in particular, he's a very good player. Teams will put more beyond the ball and uh, will be more difficult to break down and Mesut Ozil's that guy who can break teams down. Um, so I would go with Mesut Ozil in the team. 
Um, I think Alex Iwobi has to start for me. He's on fire at the moment. He's playing really well. And he gives a better balance to the team. And I, you know, I think if we're going to go with that front three, um, maybe we might go with a sort of 4 4 2, which we kind of went with at Fulham. I wouldn't mind seeing that. But it's probably going to be the front three um, with Ozil playing just behind him. And I think if we're going to go with that, I'd like to see Abamyang, Lacazette, and um, Iwobi. And. Uh, I think that I just do not like seeing Meza Ozil out on that right hand side. I just think, you know, we just lose a player when we put him there and he drifts inside all the time anyway. So he's effectively not playing as a right winger and he offers no protection to Hector Bellerin. Um, defensive wise, uh, Socrates um, is going to have a late fitness test, so we're not sure yet whether he'll be fit. But if he's not, Rob Holding's been playing really, really well. So it'd be unfair for him to be dropping out right now anyway. He's playing brilliantly. Mustafi's not been doing too badly. And uh, the two fullbacks in Bellerin and Monreal, um, we'd expect them to start. But we've got more or less a, quite a full squad at the moment. You know, Kolasinac is back. Um, Ainsley Maitland-Niles now is um, back in contention as well. Uh, Petr Cech's going to have a late fitness test as well. So more or less, we've got nearly everybody fit and rearing to go. I'd expect Leno to keep his place in goal. And, um, you know, I, I, I think, you know, Torreira, of course, coming in and now, I think we've got a strong and confident team ready to play Leicester. But we can't underestimate Leicester. I remember seeing them in the first game of the season against Manchester United, and I was really impressed with them because they really took the game to Manchester United and on another day could have won that game. But the way that Arsenal are playing at the moment, especially at home, confident, turning teams over, I'd expect that to continue. And we've got a great opportunity um, to really keep pushing to, you know, try and get into that top four this season. Uh, we saw that Chelsea dropped points yesterday, so we can take advantage of that. But of course, Man City won, Liverpool won, Tottenham won, so we've got to win this game against Leicester. Um, let me just quickly run through what I think my formation for the game will be. I'll go with Leno in goal. Uh, the usual back four, should I say, the usual back four with uh, Socrates out. Because I just don't kind of think Socrates is going to be quite ready for the game. So it'll be uh, Monreal and Bellerin, the two wing backs. And uh, then, um, of course, Holding and Mustafi. Just in front of them, uh, Torreira. Xhaka, although I was thinking, should we put Ramsey? I mean, after scoring such a brilliant goal and coming on and really making his mark in the last game, is it really right to leave him out? But for the balance sake, um, I go with uh, Xhaka and Torreira for this game. Ozil just in front of them. And then a front three, as I said, um, of uh, Lacazette, Iwobi and Aubameyang. Um, lots of firepower out there. Lots of players there capable of um, taking it to Leicester, and I think uh, we will get a win. I'm going to go for my prediction being three goals to one. What do you guys think? Um, I'd love to know what you think the team should be. I'd love to know if um, you guys are feeling confident ahead of this game, but it's Arsenal versus Leicester City, Monday night, 8 o'clock kickoff. Looking forward to it, and uh, let's hope we get a big win.